Hooks is a basic of React and Next.js and in this course I'm going to show you a method to quickly set up hooks with Next.js 14 and Superbase. In the previous course, we talked about sessions and we used the Superbase SDK and the Hoth package to get the session and to set the session. And we ended up with this code here in my home page that is a bit annoying because I would like to have this code everywhere into my app. And we know that with Next.js 14, we can of course use the hooks. So the hooks, it's external function that you can call and that are distributing a whole logic that is either a business logic, either an app logic, whatever you want to call it. So here I'm going to create a new folder called hooks. And in this, in this folder hooks, um, I can control, I can create any hook that I want. So there is two approach. The first approach is a functional approach. Let's say that we can, under uh, Next.js 14, create a uh, use helper.js or .ts hook that would distribute here a logic of helpers. And here, let me give you a concrete example. We are under Next.js 14. I'm going to use the router, the pass name, a lot of other things that will be common to most of the file of my application. I could create a new file called usenavigation.ts and this use navigation will be everything related to the navigation. So here I got a hook, a custom hook that I created for myself that is using use params and distributing the params the use pass name that is distributing the pass name, et cetera, et cetera, the router. And I even have some variable. This logic here can be called directly inside my home like this by using use navigation simply here and use navigation here. I can deconstruct everything that I have inside my hook, such as for instance, the router. So I would call the router and be available here inside my scope inside my home page. Let's get back here. The use helper, we can delete it. I'm going to let you the use navigation if you want to use it. Otherwise you can go on my website and there will be a, a, a new tab snippets where I'm going to store all my future snippets. Here, like, let's say that we could use, for instance, a use superbase.ts. And again, here we are in a functional um, approach. So we got here use navigation that is displaying a lot of uh, functions and variables and using um, the packages available by Next.js 14 uh, everywhere into the app. Otherwise, we could have here a use superbase hook that could do exactly the same. This is the functional approach. I'm going to come back to this hook just after. Now, let me show you the second approach, which is the business approach. Remember, we have a uh, table called views inside my Superbase instance. And I could have probably a use views hook. And here, this use view hooks will be actually related not to the functionality of my app, but to the business logic inside this application. I would like to store views inside Superbase. If I go back to my table, I already have here some views and probably I want to provide some operations. So what I would do is to export const. And here, if I want to uh, not lose time, I can copy paste this. Okay, I'm going to come back. I can copy paste here. I got my hook. I got my use views. Okay. And to store, if I would like to have all the views, what I could do is simply to have a const views set views is equal to user state here. And I would have a type of view, but here I'm just going to put any and actually it's going to be any with here. I'm going to use user state from react. And at the end, I would return my views and my set views. So here I get a um, business logic hook. And here on Superbase, I would have more a functional logic hook. So we're going to see, we're going to write both of them to look at the difference. Here I would have my use Superbase. And at the end, I would return everything that is logic 
concerning Superbase. But here I would have more a business logic one. Let's get back to my application and look at this. What I can do is to export all the function of the session from before inside here my uh, in my uh, functional logic hook. And I need, of course, to import my super base here. And then suddenly I got access to everything. So I could have set session, refresh session. And the last one, I think it's get session, if I remember well. So all my functions are available here. And what I can do directly in here, instead of having my function all in here, I can call use super base. And here we remember we call get session. And there we go. When we come back to our app, we update and we've got our session exactly like before. Okay, this is what I call a functional logic hook. Basically in here, we've got function that we could use everywhere. However, inside our business logic hook, we cannot use, we don't want to use the views everywhere. We would like to use them only on pages such as the views. So basically what I would like to do here is to fetch my views directly inside here. And I cannot call my use superbase hook. It's not recommended to mix hooks like this. You will have huge side effects. So what I would do simply is to have a function called get views, which would be an asynchronous function that will call what? Of course, it will call Superbase, but the client coming from the library we created before. So here I would have my data or views, as we could call, call it. However, the thing is here, we got the views. And we would have a function to fetch from the table views. And here you need to write the RLS policies. OK. And from views, we would select everything from a view. OK. And if there would be data, and again, here I'm not wrapping it into a try catch, but you should wrap it to a, a, a try catch. I would set my views, actually, the data coming from here directly inside my views up here. So we see here that we store Superbase um, here as a functional hook with function that I can use everywhere, but also in my business logic hooks, I'm calling my client Superbase. So I mix both of the logic here to have access to the functions that I want and to also facilitate the developer's life. Especially if you are working in a team, you need to uh, respect some convention in order for the people after you to understand what you wrote. And of course, for your future you. Your future you is going to come back in some months and probably will not understand anything. So if you did your job well, you are supposed to understand immediately where are the functions you need, where are the logic. Everything needs to be separated in order to understand faster the project and to enter into it faster. OK, I just built a new table called articles and I just have titles for now. I'm going to insert a new row level security policy. Let's say that I would like for anybody to read the article. So I will come here and I don't set any role. It's going to be public and I'm going to call it read for role and I'm going to click on review. So now I'm able to fetch my articles. The first logic that I would do is to come back to my app, get here and create a new hook called use articles.ts. And in these new articles, what I would do is exactly the same that I showed you with the views. I created this hook called use articles. I got here a uh, variable articles, which has any type. I could create my type later. And what I do is to fetch the articles and I wrote the RLS policy. And when I got the articles, I set the articles. So I'm going to get back to my home here. And I'm going to remove this and remove this. And I'm going to call my use articles here hook. And I'm going to deconstruct here my use article function. And I'm going to call articles and get articles. Then down here, I'm going to call get articles. And what I would like to do here is just to have a list, okay, 
of articles and I'm going to type articles.map and I'm going to return here a list of articles and remember and in each article we've got here a title so I need of course to put the key so I'm going just to put any for now key index and I'm going to put my um, sorry in number there we go and here I'm going to put my key here and my key here so this is as simple as this so I'm going to go to the line for you and when I come back to my app there we go I got here my articles with the titles in here directly fetch from my instance here from Superbase and from the role level security that I will write this was a really simple course on how to use hooks with Superbase with a debate on functional logic and business logic. Now you are able to use hooks and to call your Superbase client directly to use your business logic or just to create hooks for a functional goal.